Hey what's up guys then my for simple snippets and today we are going to be looking into how to perform subtraction of binary numbers using the ones complement so we'll first understand what ones complement is and then try to apply it to perform subtraction of two binary numbers so let's get started okay so as you can see on the screen we have three different numericals and we have to perform subtraction operation the first one is a pretty simple one we have 26 minus 25 and the binary equivalents of those decimal numbers so you know we'll be getting the answer of one the second one we have 25 minus 26 so we are going to be getting a negative number so this was the issue when we actually uh, did subtraction by normal method so we weren't able to do that so using ones complement we can form subtraction and get negative results as well basically ones complement is used to represent negative values as well as perform these subtraction operations and we also have twos complement so we'll see that in later tutorials as well and the last question is where we have a decimal point so we have fractional binary number subtraction so let's get started with the first one and let's see what exactly ones complement is so ones complement in binary numbers is basically basically just flipping of bits so let's see we have this number 11001 so if you want to calculate ones complement of this number we simply have to flip the bits so if there is one we have to write zero so this one will become zero this zero will become one again this zero will become one and these two ones will become zero and zero so that's it so this was as simple as that and we just have to flip bits to calculate the ones complement in binary numbers so now how to go about subtraction of two numbers using this ones complement so first write down the first number 110 one zero and we have to subtract one one zero zero one from it so what we have to do is we have to calculate the ones complement of the second number and perform addition so let's calculate ones complement first so we have the first number as one one zero one zero and the second number we have to calculate ones complement so one will become zero zero will become one this zero will become one and these two ones will become zeros and now after calculating ones complement we just have to add these two numbers so we don't have to subtract now we have to perform addition so by adding these values we get zero plus zero is zero 0, 1 plus 1 will give us 0 and 1 will be carried then again 1 plus 1 will give us 0 1 will be carried again 0 1 will be carried and lastly we'll get 0 with 1 carry so this one digit is extra in this addition and this is the result of carry so if you get this one carry extra it means that the output or the result is going to be positive so the subtraction of these two values is going to be positive and what we have to do is we have to take this carry and add it to the result itself so we have to add 1 over here and the final answer you'll get is 1 0 0 0 0 basically you get 1 as the answer so you can cross check it by just converting the binary numbers to decimal numbers so I've already done it 26 minus 25 is always going to give you 1 and that is what exactly we got over here so we got a carry over here so that's why we had to take that carry and add it to the result and we got the final answer as a positive number so what happens when you don't get a carry so let's see question number 2 over here so in question number 2 we have to subtract a larger number from, from a smaller number so let's first write down the two numbers 1 1 0 0 1 minus 11010 so again first calculate ones complement of this second number so we have 11001 as the first number and the ones complement of this number is 0 is going to be 1 1 is going to be 0 again 0 is going to be 1 and these two ones are going to be zeros so now just we have to add these values now adding these we get 0 1 as carry then we have 1 1 1 and 1 now notice that we did not get any carry over here and we did not get an extra bit so this means that the answer we got is in ones complement that is when we take ones complement of this number we will get the final answer and it is going to be negative so that is the reason why we did not get a carry over here so let's calculate ones complement of this number that we just got so we have one and all of these are going to be zero and the answer is going to be negative so this is the final answer that we got and this is correct because 25 minus 26 is going to give us minus one and this is correct in binary terms as well so zero 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 and one and this is a negative value so remember that when we don't get a carry or don't get extra bit the answer is always going to be negative and we have to take one's complement again to get the final answer so let's see question number three which is basically a fractional binary number and i've already written down the decimal values of the two binary numbers as well as the result so 11.25 is the first number and 6.5 is the second so the subtraction should give us 4.75 so let me first write down the two numbers 101.01 and we have to subtract 110.10 now remember we have to add one zero over here to make it equal so we should have equal number of digits and adding a zero is not going to add any value to this number it's just for representation purpose so first let's ca calculate one's complement of this number that is the second number and let me first write down the first number as well now calculate the one's complement of this number 
second number so we have 1 then 1 is going to be 0 0 is going to be 1 1 is going to be 0 again 1 is going to be 0 and this 0 that we just added is going to be 1 over here now we have to add these two values so adding we get 0 1 then we have a decimal point 1 plus 1 is 0 and 1 carried again 1 plus 1 is 0 1 is getting carried there is no carry over here but 1 is going to be there and 1 plus 1 is again going to be 0 and 1 is going to be carried so this one we got as an extra carry and we already knew that we are going to be getting a carry because the first number is a larger number so the result is going to be positive and whenever the result is going to be positive we always get a carry so what we have to do is we have to just add the carry over here to the last number and get the final answer as 1 1 0 0 so yeah this is the final answer now if you convert this entire number to decimal number i'm sure you're going to be getting 4.75 as the conversion value and if you don't know how to convert it you can check out previous tutorials from this playlist where we've discussed how to convert a binary number to a decimal number and vice versa so that's it for this ones complement and performing subtraction of binary numbers using ones complement so if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel peace